Hello dear friends, myself Prof. Khodja Rishikesh, Assistant Prof. in Botany, working in SM Dushi College, Adab Sir. Here I am going to present you the next part of the transpiration lecture. Already in previous parts, we have studied about the stomata structure and basic theory of opening and closing of stomata. But many scientists came forward, have objection on this theory, they have their own theory and in your syllabus they have given you the Stewart theory and potassium pump theory so we are going to discuss these two theories what is special about these two theories is the main topic of discussion about this lecture today we are going to discuss in this video about the Stewart hypothesis about the opening and closing of stomata when somebody says hypothesis Hypo means below to the thesis. Thesis means something which is published and proved. Hypothesis means still under observation and still under study. This hypothesis is given to you to check, to apply your knowledge whether the theory is correct or not because every theory comes with the merits and demerits. Every theory has its own objectives and limitations. So we are going to discuss about the merits and demerits of this Stewart hypothesis. Let's begin here. Already in basic theory, we have discussed about how osmotic potential performing the role, how osmotic potential is causing to opening and closing of stomata. The pH also have the role in opening and closing of stomata. The carbon dioxide is responsible for the pH of the solution in a cell of the plant. Not only in plants, but also in human being, carbon dioxide causes pH changes in the blood. So in case of plants, if you talk about the stomata, as is presented here in the diagram, the stomata shows the two types of cell, especially guard cell and subsidiary cell surrounding to it. So when stomata during the day time get open and during the night time get closed is related with the photosynthesis. The photosynthesis produces the starch molecule which is the product of photosynthesis. Already we have said what is starch molecule. Starch molecule is polysaccharide molecule. Poly means many monosaccharides are inside the starch molecule. The starch contains many glucose molecules. In guard cell you will find various enzymes are present. We are talking about the Stewart hypothesis. In Stewart hypothesis, according to the Stewart, he says in guard cell, starch molecule is the product of photosynthesis present, as well as many different different enzymes are present, such as phosphorylase, phosphomutase, hexokinase. So these enzymes are performing their role. So obviously these enzymes have role in opening and closing of stomata. So we will be discussing about first about opening of stomata according to the Stewart hypothesis. As Stewart says the stomata contains starch and various enzymes. The first enzyme come in a picture which is known as phosphorylase. This phosphorylase enzyme produces different different glucose separate molecules from the starch by adding inorganic phosphate into it. So what it happens actually, so you will find from the starch separate glucose one phosphate molecule is produced. From starch glu separate glucose one phosphate by the phosphorylase enzyme activity. So this glucose one phosphate molecule is not usable actually. To use it, it has to convert into the glucose 6 phosphate. So the inorganic phosphate which was present on the glucose 1 carbon, it is need to be shifted on the 6th carbon of the glucose. So you will find glucose 6 phosphate molecule is produced by the enzyme of phosphomutase. So mutase category is enzyme as generally perform transferring group from one atom to the another atom. So you will find from starch glucose 1 phosphate was produced. From glucose 1 phosphate you will have glucose 6 phosphate by phosphomutase enzyme. But this glucose 6 phosphate need to be cleaved into two different molecule by phosphatase enzyme activity. You will find the glucose and inorganic phosphate get separated. So in previous basic theory we have studied that the, this glucose 6 phosphate or glucose 1 phosphate had osmotic potential but after cleaving the phosphate from glucose the osmotic potential get doubles. 
you need to remember the, remember this this is the differentiating point from the basic theory the glucose and phosphate have separate separate osmotic potential which is doubled as compared to the previous theory and it causes the movement of water from subsidiary cell into the guard cell once water enter into the guard cell this guard cell get turgid and the slit between this guard cell get open and we can say the stomata get open during the daytime during daytime the whatever carbon dioxide is present in the atmosphere is get utilized for starch preparation so less carbon dioxide get dissolved into the solvent of the cell so the ph of the solution automatically get increases increases means beyond 7 7.4 or 7.9 but on other hand during the night time what happens we are going to discuss now so it is just uh, opposite to the opening where you will find the separate glucose and separate inorganic phosphate get attached together by another enzyme which is known as hexokinase so the hexokinase enzymes adds the phosphate group on glucose during the night time once you will find glucose one phosphate molecule again created this glucose one phosphate molecule get collected and joined together by the enzyme phosphorylase and produces starch molecule so during daytime starch is converted into the separate glucose and separate phosphate during night this separate glucose and separate phosphate is converted into the starch again so it is reversible process once starch molecule get produced the osmotic potential of the guard cell get decreases you need to write this line osmotic potential of the guard cell is very essential point in order to opening and closing of stomata what is osmotic potential means whatever water can enter inside or go outside is dependent upon osmotic potential if osmotic potential of any substance is high obviously that substance is causing the inward movement of water in that cell okay so starch molecule have less osmotic potential that's why the water is leaving the guard cell into the subsidiary cell and guard cell gets flaccid and stomata get closed during night time the carbon dioxide is present inside the plant by the process of respiration get dissolved in the solvent so carbonic acid get produces this acid reduces the ph of the solution so the ph is playing very important role during high ph various enzyme get active during low ph various enzyme get active for low ph at low ph hexokinase like enzyme get active at high ph phosphomutase phosphatase enzyme get active so it was about the merit or points which are given in stewart hypothesis now we will discuss about the limitations of this stewart hypothesis what are the limitations are there many scientists are saying that this is this cannot happen this theory is wrong because the if phosphate group its own have osmotic potential then why would we are going to study about this pathway because simply by sending the phosphate into the guard cell it can create osmotic potential enough sufficient to invert movement of water so the stewart hypothesis cannot explain this phenomenon another point is that the phosphorylase enzyme as we have said is creating the glucose one phosphate molecule from the starch molecule is not responsible for creation of starch molecule from glucose one phosphate molecule because it is proved that the phosphorylase is not responsible for creation of starch molecule from glucose one phosphate monomers so it is another limitation there are various limitation but these two limitations are very important and essential to remember and you to write in your exam for mcq questions these questions are generally asked these are favorite questions for examiner because the theory have limitations and to clear these limitations we have another theory which is very prominent theory and many scientists worldwide 99.9% has accepted the potassium pump theory which is we will be discussing our in next lecture so in today's lecture i will stop here at stewart hypothesis you will find the important points just highlight it and please subscribe this channel so you will get the next notification of lecture thank you we will meet in next lecture